The Good Morning Show starts now. Good morning, everybody, and happy Saturday. I'm Sophia Hernandez. Thank you so much for joining us bright and early this morning. Let's take a live look at the Walter Reed Medical Center in Maryland this morning. That's where President Trump was admitted yesterday and will spend the next several days receiving treatment. That's after both President Trump and First Lady Melania Trump tested positive for COVID-19. FSU political science professor Carol Weiser says the 25th Amendment is in place if the president gets too sick to carry out his duties. The vice president has constitutional authority to take over. Armonica Casey breaks that down for us. The White House stated yesterday that for now, President Trump will, quote, continue carrying out his duties without disruption. And the communications director for Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis says there is no concern that the governor may have contracted COVID-19 from the president. The two did not shake hands in Jacksonville last week. Deputy McMillian tells us there are no other known suspects and no one else was harmed in the exchange. According to police, the shooting was not a threat to the public and is still an open investigation. In the capital city, Tallahassee police still searching for gunmen involved in a deadly early morning shooting at an apartment complex. The time now 8:12 on this Saturday morning covering South Georgia. This Facebook post from the Adel Police Department stirring up controversy among residents. The post stating trick or treating in the city of Adel has been canceled. Our Amber Spradley shares that while many residents are in agreement, others are not thrilled. The Department of Public Health also tells Amber they have no intention of canceling Halloween this year, but do ask you to wear a mask and abide by CDC guidelines. And of course, while this year's Halloween may look a lot different, what does not have to change is dressing up for the holiday. And we want to see your costumes. So we have a couple from last year. You see here behind me, look at this pupper in a UPS outfit. That is adorable. And we want to see your costumes. So make sure to submit them to us on our website, WCTV.TV. You see a couple other ones over here. That's a FAMU Rattler in the making over there. Oh my gosh. Charles, I think... Charles and Atticus have the next costume. That's what they're going to do this year. I'm calling it now, guys. Kentucky Fried Chicken. That is adorable. Again, if you want to submit your costumes, you can head over to our website, WCTV.TV. We'll be right back. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful temperaments on they both They both are very calm. Very, mm -hmm. very calm dogs. And can you tell us, you told me a little bit earlier before the show about a new program that Seven Dog Song is doing with Tapestry Senior Living. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you, and you spoke a little bit about COVID restrictions. You know, I think in this day and age, people not sure really how they can contribute if not in person. Mm -hmm. What exactly are you guys asking for from the community during this time as far as the need that you need to address? Um, Slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. And of course, if you want to check Seven Dog Song out, we will have this video clipped to our website, WCTV.TV, so you can get all of the information. Thank you so much for joining us bright and early on this Saturday. We'll Thank be right you. back after the break. Released audio recordings from the secret grand jury sessions. That grand jury's decision not to indict the officers for shooting Taylor in her own apartment sparked protests in Louisville and across the country. Here's CBS's Adriana Diaz. The Good Morning Show starts now. Welcome back on this Saturday morning, or thank you for tuning in if you're just now joining us. I'm Sophia Hernandez. Let's take a look at the skies outside St. George Island this morning. This is the sunrise cam, and that's exactly what's happening bright and early this morning. A beautiful view to wake up to, and an even more beautiful day to be spent outdoors. Let's tune in now with meteorologist Charles Root with more. Hey, Charles. All right, good morning, Sophia. Good morning, everybody. Here's a look at the next few minutes. So what Charles is saying is enjoy the cooler weather while it still lasts. Yep. Thanks, Charles. Our top story in Florida this morning, the Department of Health providing some clarity on the report it published earlier this week on COVID cases in schools and universities. Jake Stofan has been pushing for answers from DOH this week and found the report uses different data than school districts when listing cases. While DOH did provide some clarity on the report, Jake says he still hasn't received an official statement from the department since he first sent a list of questions Wednesday morning. In Tallahassee, Florida State making changes to its game day protocols this weekend. That follows backlash after many students were not wearing masks or social distancing at Doak during opening weekend. Now, seating and the lack of social distancing was one of the main concerns from the home opener, but FSU says they're doing what they can to fix the problem, and it starts with signage. FSU says that they also plan to disperse ambassadors throughout the stadium to remind patrons to wear their masks and remain socially distant throughout the game. Don't go anywhere. We have a lot more news coming your way here at the Morning Show. 
It's Saturday, so you know what day it is. It's game day. The Seminoles are back at home and they take on Jacksonville State this afternoon at 4 p.m. Sports Director Joey Lamar is there for us this morning as the Noles look to earn their first win of the season. Hey, Joey. And with us today in studio is none other than Cherry Rankin. She is whipping up a delicious treat. I think today everyone should head to the grocery store, grab the ingredients, and then tomorrow this will be the perfect treat for Sunday brunch. Good morning, Cherry. Thank you so much for joining us bright and early this morning. How are you? Hi, good morning. I'm well. How are you? Good. So can you tell yeah. me a little bit about this treat? I know you always have good family favorites, and this is one of them. Well, thank you. This is, this, like you were saying, this. Uh, do you so, usually have a side item with it, or do you, can you eat it on its own? Well, girl, you're in the country. <laughs> <laughs> you better put you a pot of cheese grits beside it with some biscuits if you choose to have bread with it. But yes, you got to have the cheese grits. You are talking my oh, breakfast the cream. language, Cherry. That's delicious. <laughs> and so what is the next step? So what, we have the egg batter. Now what's the next step? All you do is just pour it in your pie shell okay. on mine, and you let it bake. And you let the rest, Yes. you let the food do the talking. It looks delicious, it That's smells delicious. You guys are not in studio to experience the cherry rank and cooking that we know and love. But if you want to make it at home, you can visit our website, wctv.tv. We'll make sure to post this video after the show. Thank you so much, thank, Jerry. Thank you. We'll be right back. While it's still cool, we have a fall weather joke for you. Our producer, Gabby, I think she's just been loving to input these because she's all about fall and this cooler weather. So, are you ready for this, Charles? Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> okay. The joke is, what did a tree fighting with autumn say? Tree fighting with autumn say? Yes. Uh, get my leaves off me? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm leafing. Ah. Da -da -da. Yeah. So... That's your fall joke for today, for this Saturday morning. But we also have some other Sophie shenanigans to get you. And we have some, some good ones. It's National Boyfriend Day, National Techies Day, National Poetry Day. These two are interesting. It's Mean Girls Day. Have you ever seen that movie? No, I have not. It's the scene where Lindsay Lohan's love interest turns around and she's like, he's like, what day is it? And she's like, October 3rd. So today's Mean Girls Day. Yeah. I think I saw that on Twitter earlier. Actually. Yes. That all makes sense. Okay. It, it, yes, exactly. Full <laughs> circle. It's also National Kevin Day. So if you know a Kevin, celebrate the Kevin in your life because it's the day about Kevins. So there's that. I if there's a National Charles Day. Yeah, we're going to have to look at that. That, that will have to be a Sophie Shandigans on that day. We'll research that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us on this Saturday morning. We have another hour of news coming your way in minutes.